The following trailer is rated H for honest. From the company that's slowly replacing our entire culture with reboots and spin-offs, comes a game that truly does justice to the Spider-Man franchise. And finally, let you fully live out your fantasy of being a penniless nerd whose best friend is an old woman, Spider-Man. Slip on the breathable Lycra onesie of the Spider-Man as you leave behind the era of journalism, upside down kisses, and an incredibly bored sounding Tobey Maguire for a hipper, more relatable spider youth who can't get his personal life together. Despite the fact that he's also the world's most competent super sleuth, athlete, and brilliant scientist, and who's not just cozy with the city cops, but actively working to expand the surveillance state in a spider simulation that accurately captures the experience of being a radioactive millennial. Cause let's be honest, if you were Spider-Man, you'd definitely still take the subway all the time. Swing your way into Spider-Man's pitch perfect traversal system that finally blows Spider-Man 2's much beloved gameplay out of the water with swinging that feels like it has real momentum and physics, except for when you pause in midair to throw something or just jog up the side of a wall and enough different movement options to make traveling around the city inherently fun, as well as a Tony Hawk style trick system so you can do sick backflips while you fight crime, cause why not? In gameplay that will have you collecting all the tedious bullshit they packed into their open world New York just to have an excuse to swing around some more. Whee! I haven't enjoyed swinging this much since I went to that Mario key party. I can't tell you who I hooked up with, but the name rhymes with Bagheera Biyamoto. Dive headfirst into battle and throw down with the city's endless parade of faceless thugs with a series of combos, web slinging, and gadgets that will have you zipping around the area constantly while you try to remember which type of beatdown goes with which flavor of asshat or just exploit their chronic inability to look up and web them all before they even see you as you fulfill your role as a kinder, gentler brand of superhero that refuses to kill and settles for merely causing severe head trauma and kicking dudes off the sides of buildings. It's alright, he webbed him to the wall 40 stories up Surely some kindly stranger will take him in before he starves and freezes to death. Get ready for the collectathon that is par for the course in the open world genre as Spider-Man pulls out nearly every cliche minigame and side activity in the playbook that won't just have you activating towers, stopping crimes, saving citizens, taking pictures, and picking up backpacks, but also doing puzzle minigames, chasing down pigeons, healing the fish, fixing the Wi-Fi, and doing more plumbing than a certain well-known video game character all to collect one of the six different types of currency that you'll need to unlock more powers and goofy-ass suits in an open-world experience that would get pretty tedious if it wasn't so fun to move around in. And at least most of what you're doing is related to being a superhero scientist and not just trying to find balloons for that kid again. I'm glad your balloon flew away, you little turd! Also, you were adopted! Prepare to face Spider-Man's greatest foe to date, real life as Spider-Man breaks up the climactic fights with his many formidable foes, with the normal people problems of Peter Parker, like losing your job, getting evicted from your apartment, tracking down your stuff in dumpsters, and crashing on couches, as Spider-Man has you realizing that there are much scarier things than super-powered villains. I mean, yeah, okay, getting mobbed by the Sinister Six sucks and all, but have you ever had to work with your ex? Ugh, yikes. So weave your way past the tangled web of uninspired open worlds and into a superior superhero experience that will keep you squeezing out the last drops. Because it turns out that as long as your game feels really good to play, you can fill it full of the same garbage we've been complaining about in open world games for years and we'll lap it right up. Yeah, I might be a hypocrite, but I'm a hypocrite who gets to play a good Spider-Man game. I can live with that. Starring Post-Puberty Tom Holland Lois Jane Spider-Boy Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Too Much Sugar Water, Meryl Street with Handguns, Dr. Hansey, Innuendo Man, Zaptos OC, Do Not Steal, Rocksteady, Familiar Gimmick Man, Colonel Sanders, Photoshop Filter Man, The Excel Spreadsheet, and Alex Jones of Jameson, Grand Theft Arachnid, you can totally tell it's a fantasy world because Spider-Man's Twitter replies aren't full of horrible racism. Comment below on what you want me to read in my epic voice. Beg that I succeed, for I have seen the throne of the gods, and it was empty. Helping people and killing people is what I do best. Death to all pigeons. Swooping is bad.